All right, we're here for a special event at Enoteca La Storia in downtown San Jose's Little Italy district. We have Katie Parla. She's a Rome-based food and beverage expert. She's gonna talk to us today about her new book and she's gonna share some Southern Italian cuisine. I'm excited about it, let's check it out. All right, super excited. We're here with Katie Parla. You got a new book out. Yeah. And it's all about it's Southern. Italian South. Italian yeah. South. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I already opened it up and took a peek, but uh, there's some great images, some rustic meals. We're gonna talk sure. about that. So, Food of the Italian South, um, which is my second cookbook, is 85 recipes that showcase the terrain, the ingredients, the techniques, and the history of five regions Basilicata, Calabria, Puglia. Campania and Molita. Nice. The reason why I love this place is look how giant, yeah, right. gorgeous the space is, and it's right in downtown San Jose. So we're gonna try some of these dishes. I mean, everything on the menu tonight is from the book, um, and you know, among the 85 recipes, I've been you know, taking the book all over the United States on tour. So let's talk about this. This is on the menu tonight. Yeah, these are um, pepperoni imbottite la Benementana. If I show up to a holiday party or a festive party, anything with friends. And I'm making that, you're gonna turn some heads. And people, you're gonna, your whole reputation is gonna change. People are gonna know who you are. <laughs> Check out all of this wine. It goes on forever. Everyone knows Naples, everybody knows Francia, which is Florence, Rome, <laughs> Sicily even. But no one knows the toe and the heel, right? So that's what we're gonna cover today. I love stuffed bell peppers, so here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Gotta get some arugula on there too. Nice. Very good, love it. Sam, it looks like you liked it. I know, there's no more left. <laughs> I need another plate, it's so good. My charcuterie looks pretty good. All right, so what else are we in for tonight? Next up, Sicchi da Monezza, which is not Italian, it's dialect Neapolitan to be precise. Got it. It's like puttanesca plus some other stuff. So think of like spaghetti, toss with tomato sauce, capers, olives, hazelnuts. This uh, focaccia. Yeah, the cover shot is focaccia pogliese, or even more specifically, focaccia barese. Um, it almost has this like fried bottom because it's cooked in a pan with a lot of oil. Um, it's topped with uh, olives and tomatoes, and made with durum wheat. So it is a classic from the heel of the boot. Look at that. This one, chanfolta, is super simple. It's just basically cubed summer produce that's cooked with olive oil and garlic and herbs. It's so simple. And you can change it up depending on the season. These are all your garden vegetables. You got your eggplant, your tomatoes. I wanna say ratatouille, but you don't say that in Italy. That's French. So that's basil, a little basil. 
it's definitely better than ratatouille, but I'm biased because I'm Italian. Ha! Ah. I'm excited about this dish. Tell us about that. This one's fun because you don't really expect to find like a sort of savory and sweet dish in like sort of the classic Italian kitchen. But this is spezzatino all'uva. It's a pork stew that has grapes in it. And it's a very classic um, recipe from Molise where they throw in extra grapes after the harvest. It, it, I want to get bread and just dip it in that. You got you know it. I mean? Here we have the spezzatina alla uva. Slow cooked pork with grapes. I'm gonna get a close up of that. You get the, the melody of grapes in here. I'm gonna put all that in the palate, right on the palate. Mm. Favorite dish of the night. Delicious. Really good. Definitely got that sweet and savory. Wow. After all this food, we want something sweet. All the savory, now we want something sweet. What do we have here? Yeah, the crostata di rotonda is a really delicious lard crust crostata, or like jam tart. 